May the light forever shine upon us. Hey guys, so here we are, final day of Defo. It's been an incredible journey the last six years, and right before the servers go offline today, I thought I wanted to do at least one final video, not only as a message to say farewell to everyone, but I also wanted to have you know a video that I can look back three years, five years, ten years later, and sort of you know remind myself of all the good times I've had with this game. And I guess this game is has been pretty fantastic overall. I remember starting out back in 2018. I was at dinner with my wife and I saw the advertisement online um, after we, we ate and I was pretty excited. Um, and I remember there was, there was a few ads that were released on this game. Some of them were pretty nice and funny. But I was always pretty interested because... I've been a fan of this series for the longest of times. Grew up with Final Fantasy. Started off watching my brother play some of the games, and you know, finally got into the games myself. Uh, and it's always been very nice, very interesting. You know, playing through the games, sort of like uh, and a digital adventure, so so to speak. But this game in particular, obviously. You know, it's there for fan service, as many will call it. But it also, you know, ties in very nicely with the game. It's always nice watching all the cutscenes where characters interact with one another. And it was very interesting seeing the dynamics of how characters from different games can potentially come together. I think that was one of the highlights of this game. And, you know, kudos for the developers for doing the research, but also showing us all the what-ifs. The game itself has been pretty fantastic throughout the six years. I mean, it's, it's been a learning journey for me as well as everyone, but I kind of like the way that you know we had difficult fights, we had fights where you had to think about the mechanics, and obviously in the last few, I guess, months of the game, the stages weren't very interesting, so to speak. A lot of mechanics weren't present. And I suppose that's part of the fact that budget was scaled back in fight design, which I, I guess I can understand. But, you know, if you look back at earlier days, say, you know, the early Chaos era as an example, those were really challenging fights, yes. And I know, you know some people even took to social media to complain, but I think those were very interesting times, you know, figuring out what works, what doesn't, finding ways to, to make it work. And there were, you know, quite a couple of interesting fights. At the top of my head, we had uh, Vanille's Lost Chapters. We had Lena's EX event. We had the event where Vance PT weapon debuted. That was the event with two Avengers. And back then, you know, we had a lot of interesting mechanics. Boss had recast bars. And for those not aware, recast bars were essentially EX meters for the enemies. So every few turns, they get to unleash a full EX attack. And you know, back then, we didn't really have powerful damage mitigation or tanks. And you really have to play very carefully to manage damage across your team. And likewise, also, the, the enemy's defenses are through the roof more than you know the power creep that you've had on your weapon. So you really have to think about ways that you can dish out damage to the bosses as well and find a balance throughout. Overall, it's, it's been really fun. Um, I think now with so many characters in the game, it's, it's of course becoming more and more challenging for the devs to think of new kits for the characters and as well as to keep balance in play. It's, uh, I can understand it's, just, it's, been, it's going to be very difficult the more characters that you have. Coming to at least the community, you know, this is the first game that I tried doing content for and I'm pretty sure it shows in some of my earlier videos. But and I, I'm I'm definitely, you know, still a lot of things to learn in making content. I don't really have a lot of tools. Everything is done on just my mobile phone. I don't even use a computer for this. But it's been a very positive journey. The community has been fantastic. The community managers, shout out to Josh and Crystal, has been really fantastic. Um, I did 
look at the recording of the last live stream just a couple of days ago. Couldn't make it in real time until the very end because of time zone differences. But it, it was very nice and I can tell, you know, everyone can tell that um, there was also a bit of emotions near the end when we had to say goodbye to Josh. Um, Josh was also very nice to provide shout outs to all the content creators and I was very honored to also be mentioned in the shout out. I I know there's a couple of things that could potentially be done better on my part, but nevertheless, um, I was still included. So really many thanks for that. It's been an honor. It's been really fun doing the content, creating the infographics, doing the live podcast with Sinewave and Destro, for example, was really a lot of fun. And tuning in to all the various live podcasts that we had in the past was really a blast. I think part of what made this game so fun was really the interaction with the community, all the discussions, even sometimes the hot debates that we've had in the past. I mean, every game has had its fair share, so I, I wouldn't be surprised that you know, this game also had some debates going around. But, you know, I think this is what makes the game interesting at the end of the day. What's next is hard to say. I have been getting into another gacha game called Reverse 1999. I've done a couple of videos on that. I'm not so sure whether I want to go in-depth on that game yet. I'll probably still be making some videos while I decide, but it just it doesn't have the spark that Defo had. But let's let's see, maybe it's just you know, I haven't gotten into, into the game. I will also I'll be playing FF7 Rebirth. Um, will be getting my copy of the game today. Um, I don't even know how I'm going to get videos out of that because I'll have to find a way to transfer it from my PS5 to the phone. Like I said, I, I do all my editing on, on mobile. So um, I guess I'll just have to figure it out. Um, yeah, so I'll still be sticking around. Definitely if there's some sort of D4 Part 2 or online D4, I will definitely get back into it. But uh, until we see each other again, this is me signing off the last time in the game. Let me just go to, I guess, this screen. Farewell to everyone. You guys have been awesome. Thanks for all the great times. And until we meet again, I'll see you guys in the next Gacha game. See ya! This isn't the end. Another dream is waiting to begin.